Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you guys about something more personal which is about how I save money. Okay, so just to give you a bit of context, uh, I have so far been able to save quite a fair bit. I just recently uh, bought my first condo. Um, not cash, but of course, you know, I have good credit rating, therefore I can get good loan. Uh, I also have invested some of my money in shares um, and I live quite generally, quite comfortably. La, you know, but it hasn't always been like that, right? So when I first started my job, you know, obviously I started salary at 3008 much like everybody else. Uh, and then, you know, I slowly make my way up and then today I'm the CEO of my own company having said that you know CEO of a startup always don't make so much money but good thing is that I've always been able to you know um, take care of my expenses pretty well like you know I generally don't require a lot in life uh, so that's one good thing about me and I think that's how I'm able to sustain la. so to begin with I'm going to tell you the different ways that I save money okay number one is that every single day when I have my lunch or dinner outside I usually opt for you know the cheaper alternative kind of drinks for example like, I will take limau kosong panas or you know uh, ice swam or even just uh, taping uh, no not taping uh, shita you know Chinese tea hot you know now it's 50 cents you know Chinese tea no joke um, last time used to be like barley but now I even cut that you know and I just order water sometimes having said that you know it's not like really um, it's not really purely just the money but also because I try to reduce my sugar intake so Chinese tea has a bit of taste sometimes if I really don't mind uh, if I really don't want then maybe just some you know limau kosong panas okay in a way it's also helped me to save money la, because every single day especially if you go to the kind of shops like secret recipe or you know you order Starbucks every day that's like 50 ringgit or like that's like 10 ringgit a drink usually like you know if you order a cold drink it's like almost always like 10 11 bucks if you go to like anywhere that is like even nando's for example you know any ice blender whatever is already gonna be like you know 8 to 11 bucks if you order something outside of tea life if you order tiger sugar that's 12.90 so i really rarely indulge in drinks uh Lucky me because uh, one, I'm not really really sweet tooth but if you can control maybe try to go less on the drinks because you know uh, take out the essential first, eat and you know the drink maybe can compromise okay or I hope that um, you know you can also reduce your sugar intake because you know sugar is just so such processed unhealthy stuff lah okay the second thing is I only choose to eat out um, you know like indulge in really nice food and you know drinks and beer maybe once or twice a week um, you know I'm at the stage in life I'm 35 and you know if not now when right so I'm at that stage where I can afford it so I usually do indulge like you know on the weekends when I go out maybe have Korean barbecue with my friends or you know um, I have like beers like you know I don't have to like keep tabs how many beers you know I'm at that age already however when I was earlier in my 20s I usually do you know like opt to not go out to drink every other night I opt to um, instead also like you know try to eat in as much as I can because the money that you save actually goes a long way lah, okay you imagine you only make you know for example you make 4,000 ringgit or you make 5,000 ringgit a month you need to pay for your car you need to pay for your you know you need to save up for your house in the future you may need to save up for your wedding uh, on top of that you want to travel the world right and then you you know you need to take care of your life insurance your medical insurance uh, and then maybe you want to educate yourself and you want to keep up to trend and buy all the latest fashion uh, hello uh, 4,000 bucks cannot do all that so you need to some things got to give so first thing that I would do is you know on my day-to-day -day life maybe I will start to you know skim a little bit like you know eat like Konomi nasi lama instead of like you know ordering all the you know nandos or eat all the indulge in all the fast food because those things are actually expensive and it adds up right um definitely uh don't change car um unless your car is breaking down often and it's costing more to fix i suggest don't change car changing car is like a super waste of money and to be honest i have been driving my toyota rush for like 12 13 years and until recently i also still don't want to change even though i am a ceo of a company and i make you know considerably more than i used to in my 20s i still refuse to change car until my sister migrate to sweden and her car she's letting off at a very 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 you know like crazy if i don't take kind of rate otherwise i really just refuse to change car at all right because i, I one, I don't have time, and two, if you change car, the new car need to service. It's like you have to go to the official service center, which again going to cost you money, and it's not so near all the time, right? Um, the next thing is I always buy lasting products, right? For example, when I buy fashion items, of course you are like, oh, I want to buy some statement items, I want to buy some signature items, correct? But then don't buy everything right i always buy nude color black color white color navy blue darker colors that i can match easily with other things right so of course i have one or two 
purple pieces or I have one or two pink one or two pieces of like you know um bright colors like fluorescent yellow i have a fluorescent yellow top but other than that right everything else is very neutral so that i can easily mix and match with other things um and shoes as well i always keep it to the neutral colors navy blue um banana republic stick to the banana republic colors then you will be safe you can mix and match with a lot of things right um I don't indulge in fake accessories like for example I don't buy products uh, um, I don't buy accessories for the sake of buying accessories I mean I'm a girl but I, I generally don't um, if I do buy maybe I'll buy real gold just because the value go up over time right if I buy if I do indulge like the last time I ever bought a watch was like the Apple watch which I recently bought that I've been eyeing for, since the first Apple watch until today I finally bought the Apple watch and it's like I think um, probably the fourth or the fifth apple watch already and it's like it's that late in the game only i start buying watch and like you know people always say like oh when you're of a certain age and a certain stature you need to buy a watch like you know maybe buy a tech hoyer or whatever nope thank you very much i rather buy a property and you know all buy shares so every month when the money comes out from my bank account the first thing i do is i straight away take out the money and put into my trading account and then i'll just buy some blue chip stock and leave it there forever so the thing is i somebody who's very busy and i don't day trade right so i don't spend today and then tomorrow i check again the stock market the next day i check again the stock market i don't have time to always often check my stock market right so as a result i just buy stocks that i know that are very safe that will grow over time so for example like five years ago i bought alibaba at 90 dollars today is 200 bucks right so i just keep it there right i buy stocks that i know and then i'll just keep it there for like ages and just don't do anything about it lah. um i think that's a very safe way to invest also um i try to diversify sometimes so for example i have a medical insurance for sure everybody should have i know some of you the companies do provide medical insurance it doesn't mean you shouldn't buy your own medical insurance because the moment you leave your job uh, just say you leave your job at 40 years old uh, it might be harder for you to get insurance then you know so you want to get insurance early in the game so that you know you are insured long term and the earlier you insure the cheaper the premium you have to pay so always buy medical insurance early in life and the other thing is you don't want to suddenly get slapped touch wood with some crazy um, disease out in the middle of nowhere and then you you know expect people to pay to for your medical bills or you don't have an option to get sick medical treatment because you don't have money right so really really take care of your medical uh, insurance and that's one thing that i definitely emphasize on and also get get early in some stock market just to you know uh, invest some money if you can also buy a property uh, but actually nowadays uh, malaysia wise property not very good because uh, you can rent uh, for this for cheaper than actually paying if you bought so if just say you have 500,000 to buy a property right the 500,000 you put fixed deposit in the bank the amount that you make from the interest from the fixed deposit equals to you paying for rent for, for the whole year in a property that you don't own so you have to pay for management fee or whatever not so in fact if you just say take the 500,000 and you put in the bank and you collect interest and you pay for your rental is still cheaper than if you bought property and pay for the interest yeah so maybe put the money in the bank is better than to put the money uh, to buy a property and then you know service the interest so that's what i'm trying to say it doesn't necessarily mean that you know you are renting right now means you're paying somebody else's rent so guys this is the top five tips that i have i'm losing my voice so i really can't go on anymore but i hope that you have benefited from this i hope that uh if you have any ways to uh, save money also let me know because i'm very interested to know how else to save money so uh please follow and subscribe and thank you very much for watching my video bye